he said that he had one of those dying experiences where he was in the room looking at himself, looking down on himself. And uh, I told him that I loved him very much and that I was sorry that I spent so much time away from him. She looked to me, she looked very grey, and her eyes were very dark, and I thought that she might die, but I had thought that she might die on several occasions in the last few months, so it's only with hindsight that I now know that she was actually going. Well, he decided to go to hospital, which was in a sense a decision to die. She had kissed me, and I think that was the first time she'd kissed me for uh, quite a long time, because I used to kiss her, um, and she would kind of acknowledge the kiss, but this one was different, and she, she gave me the kiss. And as they took him out in a wheelchair, he made that gesture which I've never quite understood. Put his fingers out like that. And she didn't look back. Anna, Andrew, Lucy, Lisa, Claire all came and visited their grandfather. And Ian was there, although standing slightly apart. Was this all too reminiscent of his own father's death seven years earlier? My father's coming was also an intrusion in his house. How long would he be with us? No forward planning had taken place, but it seemed the right thing to do at the time. was a gesture of unselfishness. He was a very, very unselfish person. Whether it was not to catch the chair in the door or not to not for paint or sort of saying goodbye to the number Daddy had achieved all he wanted to do and had his last wish to leave Netherbury and to be cared for at home in quotes and loved and loved and loved this is what we did collectively about ten days before he died, Daddy said, my hour has come. Then he began to retreat. And I didn't see him again alive. Finally, on my birthday, I came down to see Daddy at 6am. I told him it was my birthday. He smiled and held my hand. I went for my early morning walk. And when I returned and went into him, I sang some hymns, holding his hand. And then finally, God be in my head and in my understanding. God be in mine eyes and in my looking. God be in my mouth and in my speaking. God be in my heart 
in my thinking